Wow, here comes another one. That's three in the last 15 minutes. I wonder how many jets are in the sky across America right now. Well, let's see. Last year, there were over 7 million domestic jet departures, or about 20,000 jets taking off every day. Wow, I didn't realize there were that many. It's pretty amazing when you think about it. You want to hear something amazing? Check out how big some of those planes are. That was a Boeing 737. It can weigh as much as 116,000 pounds and still get off the ground. Let me see. The Boeing 737-300 is 109 feet long, 94 feet wide, and 36 feet tall. That's as tall as a three-story building. It's a pretty big airplane, but it would actually look small if you parked it next to its cousin, the Boeing 747. The 747 is 231 feet long. That's almost a football field. That is totally amazing. <laughs> yeah, it's amazing how they get off the ground. It's wild. You've really been studying this, haven't you? Yeah, well, my counselor told me I should look into a career in aviation. I like to know how things work, and I get bored pretty easily. So what did you find out? Well, for one thing, there's a lot of jobs in aviation. It takes a whole team of people working together to get one plane off the ground safely. Yeah, I can believe that. Yeah, and it's like everybody has an important job on the team. It's like everybody's an MVP. If one person slacks up, it's like the whole team will fall down. So, is there a position on this team for you? Actually, I think there is. You want to be a pilot? Nope. Believe it or not, I think I want to be an aviation maintenance technician. A what? An airplane mechanic. Why am I not surprised? Because you know me. You know I like to do things right. Because I'm responsible. And... And you hate being bored. <laughs> right. So you really think this is the job for you? Yeah, I do. Hey, you might like it too. We're a lot alike. I don't know. I'd have to find out more about it. Well, you just said the magic words. Here, check this out. Well, I do a little bit of everything. And... Uh... We're not uh, specialists here. We have to uh, be able to do electronics. We have to be able to change a tire, uh, work on engines, sand, paint, uh, electrical work, uh, sheet metal work. We'd be doing a little bit of, of uh, all types of work as, a, as an aircraft mechanic. You have to be qualified to be able to check out systems, operate systems, uh, check out flight controls, change flight control cables, to change a brake, to change a seat. You do a little bit of everything. You have to be willing to adapt. You have to be willing to learn. Even, even at my age, I have to be willing to learn. Uh, I'm always learning new things every day. Uh, you, you think you know everything, and you, you just learn, learn every day, even from new people. But you have to be willing to adapt and, and be uh, somewhat mechanically inclined to be able to turn wrenches and work with equipment. So it'd be a an individual that's uh, very generally outgoing and uh, uh, likes likes hard work. You definitely have to have your own your own uh, well, I'd say sense of well-being. You have to be conscientious enough so that you do a job and do it right. Everything on the aircraft could cause problems, and everything you do on the aircraft could cause problems. You have to remember, working on a car and working on an aircraft are entirely different. Even though they both take mechanical ability, the aircraft can't pull over to the nearest cloud and get fixed. And you have a hundred and some odd passengers on board the aircraft who are depending on you to do your job right. People might think that it's a very difficult, technical, hard job, but it's a very enjoyable job. It's a very meaningful job you get some you get a, you get respect from your peers you get respect from the people you get respect from the passengers maybe they don't show it every day but they respect the fact that they got up in the air and got to where they wanted to go and you know they said thank you you're dealing with um uh, average about 13 14 dollars an hour starting uh around the industry Sometimes it's low as 10, but averaging about 13 uh, that I'm seeing around. But as high as 25, I even heard as high as 30. Uh, but those are for guys sometimes who've been in the industry 
you know, a little bit longer, maybe about my uh, 15 years like I have. So for the new upstart, you got to pay your dues like everybody else. Initially, if uh, as in, I would have to say, not just in air, airframe and power plant mechanics, but we live in a high tech era. And you better be good at your math and sciences just to compete, not just uh, on the national scale, but internationally. So I say for any high school student, junior high or whatever, elementary, uh, you need to stay abreast of what's going on or you'll be left out. And it's, high, it's much more technical than when I came along uh, compared to what the kids deal with when I finished school in 78. So certainly they need to really stay in the book. Never leave a stone unturned. Uh, don't, um, well, how do you want to put it? Just because you're young, don't figure you got all the time in the world because I was just turning, just past 18 years old when I got my first opening. Now what if I had a slacked off? That door of opportunity only opened once and I was ready for it. So again, success comes when uh, preparation meets opportunity. And prepare yourself. Do not hold back, press forward, don't follow the crowd, because if I had of, I wouldn't be standing here today. Or I would be a few years back and a little less pace. So that's my recommendation. So what do you think? I think you may be onto something here. <laughs> so what do I do next? Ladies and gentlemen, in preparation for your career takeoff, please be sure that your seatbelts are securely fastened and that your tray tables and seat backs are in their proper locked position. You got any peanuts and orange juice? <laughs> <laughs> no, seriously, what's next? Well, I think we need to check out a training program. Sounds like a plan to me. Let's do it. Good. I've got just the program in mind. The Hampton University Department of Airway Science is proud to announce a new and exciting Associate of Applied Science degree in Aviation Maintenance Technology, emphasizing transport aircraft. A unique career preparation curriculum developed by Hampton University in partnership with Hughes Training Incorporated. The intensive two-year program will provide graduates with the skills to compete for rewarding careers in airline maintenance. Included are 1,900 contact hours required for full certification as an airframe and power plant mechanic by the Federal Aviation Administration. Integrated with an additional 600 hours specifically oriented to airline quality aircraft and airline industry standards. Excellent facilities and technical equipment together with a highly skilled faculty will permit each student to prepare for the real world of modern aircraft maintenance including the most recent aerodynamic and electronic capabilities of airline and corporate aircraft. <laughs> 